Bantry House in County Cork, South West Ireland, has been in the Shellswell White family for over 300 years. The current residents, Edgerton and Brigitte, have worked for the last 30 years to keep the house standing and have built up the business with house and garden tours, a tea room and bed and breakfast. Previous generations have struggled with it and it's a challenge. We felt that it was a challenge worth rising to. When I got married, it never occurred to me that it should be sold. So once you get into that mindset, somehow mm -hmm. that it has to be, it has to be preserved, whatever. But in his late 70s and unwell, Edgerton felt that he and Brigitte could no longer carry on being the sole caretakers. So three years ago, at a family summit, it was decided that it was time the next generation took over. And it was Sophie, the eldest of their four children, who stepped forward to take the reins. It was always somewhere in my mind that I would come home. Yeah, absolutely. And with Dad becoming ill and, and things like that, it just it came home to me more that I, I needed to be here. While her parents still live in part of the house, Sophie and her partner Josh have moved back from Australia to live nearby with their young son and to take over the running of Bantry. But the faltering tourist economy has meant that visitor numbers have dropped from 60,000 to just 28,000 a year over the last decade, while increasing maintenance bills have led them further and further into debt. There's the brickwork all around the house. Yep. Occasionally you would have little bits that come off. It would be a huge job there. Mm. I think both the lodges and on either side the of, of, the, of the building are in various states of decay. Mm -hmm. You could just go on and on. A large collection of treasures, including 15th century Russian icons, fine carpets and rare porcelain, were collected by the second Earl during his travels in the 19th century. And what happens through here? This is the Gobbler drawing room. Sadly, despite their pride in this important collection, mounting debts and overheads have forced the family to take drastic steps. We have had to sell furniture in the right. past um, to, to keep the maintenance going. What has been sold? <laughs> this would break my parents' heart to yeah. me say, you know, um, dining room table had to go, mirrors, um, there are hooks on the wall with nothing on them. I mean, it's quite quite clear what's happening. Yes, I suppose there is that irony that if you sell things, there's less of a reason for people, for to, people come, to, visit. to visit. Yeah, and, and the big ticket things are the things that would, would get the most money, but then what, what are people going to look at when they come in the door, you know, so... Yeah. Money is particularly tight at Bantry. Any profit goes towards ongoing maintenance and servicing the £800,000 debt.